Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen about the accessing the dynamic root params. So if you want to access the dynamic root params, we need to use the params observable or otherwise if you don't want an observable means we can use the snapshot. So route.snapshot also we can use it. So fine. So now for accessing the dynamic uh, params in the URL, we, we are able to use it. So that params thing, we can use it something like apps.route.ts. So hero question mark ID like this, we can use it. So now this ID root param, we can capture it using the params like this. So for example, let's say that in the URL, if you want to access the query parameters and also a fragment, which are very much important in the URL thing framing. So if you want to access that one means how we can able to access it. So let's try to see that one, how we can able to access this one. So for example, let's say that if you want to access this one, hero detail. <coughs> so now if you want to access this one, so let's try to, I will try to show you. For example, let's say that we are having in the apps.route.detail. So here this one is will be an hero detail. So whenever you are able to go to hero detail, I, I need to lo load this hero details. Now this is the hero detail. Now instead of sending this one as slash id, I want to send it as a query parameter like question mark id is equal to like that one. So now if you try to check it in this one, so hero detail component, if I click on this thing and hero list dot component dot html, let's go to the hero list dot html. So here go to hero is there, right? In this one, I want to go to the hero detail. Okay. And here I can pass it something like question mark id is equal to and we will try to do it something like this we will try to see whether we can able to achieve this one or not so here i can use hero dot id okay so this is how i will be trying to send it now if i try to click on this one so we are able to get question mark id is equal to these all the things we are getting it as in something uh, url encode format we are able to get it but we should not get it something like this we should get something like hero detail question mark id is equal to 1 so like this we need to get it so how can i able to achieve this one so how we can able to achieve this one is so we should not send it like this so we have a special thing in our router.navigate so how we can how we need to send it is so we need to use a comma the second argument we need to send it and the second argument will take an object so this object and in this object you will be having plenty of options in that plenty of options you will be able to see query params okay so query params so this query params we need to pass an object here so here i need to pass id hero dot id that's it hero dot id sorry hero dot id like this we need to pass it now when you go back side so like this in the heroes and when i click on the superman so here we are able to see hero detail question mark id is equal to one fine and if I go back and if I click on the Batman, we are able to see hero detail question mark ID is equal to two. So that means we are able to successfully send the query parameters through the router navigate. So that means through the programmatic navigation, we are able to send the query parameters. Now the thing which is remaining is that we need to capture these query parameters. Previously, we have captured this one using the params, but how we can capture this one? So now for this capturing is, so I will try to show you the in ng on in it. So that I will console.log and I will show you that this dot route activated route so that we can able to see. So if I try to show you this activated route here, we are able to see this params is an observable in the same scenario. You will be able to see query params. Okay. If you try to check the snapshot for this one. So if you don't want to get the observable means so you need you can get the snapshot in the snapshot. You'll be able to have all, everything the complete details. You'll be able to see it. So in this one, you'll be able to have instead of having this, the data in the params, you will be having the ID values in the query params. Why? Because we are trying to send it in the query params. So now you can check it snapshot dot query params of ID like that. You can able to capture it. So that means you can, you need to capture it like this query params. Now, if you try to see the output for this one, so here we are able to see ID is equal to two. So hope you'll be able to see it. So now, but we don't want the snapshot of the query params. We need to have an observable. So that means what you need to do here, you need to send the query params. That's it. So now if you try to check the output for this one, see, now we are able to get the Batman. Now, if I go back to hero and if I click on, the, if I click on the Superman, we are able to get a Superman. If I click on the Batman, so we know here we are able to see slash two, right? So how we are able to get the slash two. So in the HTML, so now here we are showing it as an hero slash two. So what we need to do here? 
so we should not send into the router link as a hero slash two we need to send it as a question mark so for this one what we need to do it is so now previously we have framed the query parameter in a programmatic way but here in the template router link way we need to frame it so how we can frame this one so we need to remove the slash hero okay so here we need to have something like query params okay so we need to provide the query params and this one will take an object okay so oh, i didn't remember exactly router link param whether this one is or what no not this one query params only so query params query params so we should be something like like this and here it should it should take an object id and here it should be something like um, hero dot id okay so it should be something like this that's it so now it is hero dot id and here we are having as an async has hero and we are able to get it the hero so why we are not able to get it this one okay this will be available in up to here only so what we can do it is uh, i will try to have a do at the top okay and what i will try to do this so here i can have it and we can move this ng if up to here why because this template scope variable so that hero will not be available now it will be available now if you go back so hero detail question mark superman we are able to get it now if i move over to the here hero okay hero detail it should be hero detail fine now if i go into this one so we are able to get this hero detail question mark id is equal to 1 but when i click on this one go to batman we are able to get question mark id is equal to 1 why we are able to get id is equal to 1 okay okay so hero dot id it is always one right so we need to pass the static one so now here you will be able to see now here we are able to see the batman see this is how we can pass the parameters through the template so this is one way how we can access the param query params and also how we can send the query params through the uh, what I want to say is through the template and also through the programmatic navigation also I have shown you in the hero list component through the programmatic navigation also I have shown you the next one which I want to tell you is the fragment so how we can capture the fragment so this fragment is also one of the important things so if you try to observe the carefully so we will be having slash um, we will be having some hash like this right so now how we can capture this fragment thing so how we can capture this fragment thing is so now i will try to show you so first of all we will try to see how we can send this fragment so slash hero if you are there so how we can send this fragment is so here in this query params only in this object only we will be having an another one that is nothing but a fragment so fragment doesn't take an object why because you will be having a single fragment only for a particular url so here you can send something like dsds or anything or otherwise let's say leela web dev our channel name only will try to see it so that we can promote our channel so now if i click on the superman here you will be able to see hash leela web dev so we are able to get the fragment and if i try to click on this one so we are not able to get a fragment if you want to get the fragment means so what i want to do it is so here in our hero detail component so what can i do here so here i can do the fragment okay we will be having a fragment is equal to here also I can do Leela web dev or anything whichever I want to send it I, I can send it so now here if I try to show you the output for this one so here let's go to back yeah so if I try to refresh this page now here we are able to see and if I click on this one see the fragment has also been changed so in this way we can send the fragment now if you want to capture this fragment means what you can do it so same thing hero detail component if you try to check it in our ng on init we will be having a fragment i will try to show you ng on init we will be having a fragment that is nothing but console.log this dot route dot i will try to show you the console.log of this dot route and if you try to see here we will be having an activated route in this one you will be able to see a fragment okay <clears throat> you'll be able to see a fragment so that means so what you can do it so here you can check the fragment so 
So now if you try to check this fragment, so this is a behavior subject that is nothing but an observable. So now you can subscribe to this one and you can able to get that particular fragment. So this is how we will be accessing the query parameters and also the fragment in the angular. So hope you understood about this handling of the query parameters and the fragment in the angular. So I hope you understood about this one. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.